Hey guys, I'm here with Sakani Pro, and I'll be showing you how to make a 3D snooker ball like you saw in the speed drawing video. First, you need Photoshop CS5 Extend version. We will be using the 3D tool. Alright, once you have your Photoshop open, press File, New. Make sure you have it to these measures. Once you've got that done, make sure to choose a different gradient of the same color. Here, maybe a light red, and here, darker. With that selected, make sure you click Reverse, and drag and drop. You should have the darker color in the back, and the lighter color in the front, just to look better. With that completed, create a new layer. With that, select the paint bucket tool, and take a blue, or any color, which suit fine. And make sure the second color, which is the background color, white. Take the selection tool, take a selection of this blue layer, and hold control and press delete. Do the same with the bottom. With that completed, take the ellipse tool and hold shift to make a, per to a perfect circle. That's about fine. Once again, you will need white as your primer. There we go, that seems about nice, and I'll leave it at that. I'll line it up by, se by selecting both layers, clicking the selection tool, and clicking these two buttons. With that, I'll take my text tool, add some text, and make sure to color it black. Once that is completed, make sure you take all layers, take the selection tool, and line it up. There we go. You'll need to resize this circle by pressing Ctrl T and make the these a bit thinner. And click check on. The reason why is because it will look deformed when you put it into a 3D figure. Everything will become stretched. Once again, align them, click on it, and then select all layers, 3D, new shape from layer, sphere. That is your snipper ball. Take the rotation tool and rotate it how you like. That seems fine for now. With that completed, Click Window 3D and click Quality Ray Traced Final. Once that is complete, click Infinite Light 1 and click this little button over here. This will move the shadow. Make the shadow somewhat realistic so you don't look like a goof. That seems good for now. You can adjust Infinite Light too. For this tutorial, I'm going to make a very small infinite line. Just to make it a bit more realistic. With that completed, you can close this tab, or you can go to this tab over here, increase the gloss to about 30%, and increasing the shine to about 75%, to make it a bit more realistic. With that completed, I'm going to close this 3D window by clicking Window 3D. Now, what I'm going to do is make a reflective surface. Duplicate the layer and make sure to put it underneath. Rasterize it and hold Ctrl T to free transform. Flip vertical and press the check mark. Go down, take the selection tool and move it to about so. That seems fine for now. Maybe about there. With that final, create mask and create and select the gradient tool, which would probably be on paint bucket. If you get this effect, press Ctrl Z and unclick reverse. That seems good. Now, click filter. And go to blur, caution blur for a glass effect. 
with that, change the opacity to about 60% or 50 to what your likings are. I'm going to leave it at 50 and then I'm going to make my second snooker ball. To make a second snooker ball, make a copy by pressing duplicate and make snooker 2. Double click on this 10, select layer 1, take the magic wand, select the blue area, take a green that you would like, take the paint bucket tool and just add it in. Once you've got what you want, realign for best measures. Once you've got that completed, click on this X and click yes. Now move it so you can see both and resize it by, by taking the rotation tool. Well, mine didn't turn out so good, so I'm going to go back, move it over here, and do the same procedure. Once I've got it to my Vikings, I'm going to rotate it to the left so it doesn't look the same. This should do fine, and now I'm going to take my selection tool and move it in front of the 10 to about here. With that there, I'm going to do the same thing I did with the 10 ball and make a reflective surface ball. Duplicate the layer, rasterize it, and frame transform it, doing all the same procedures as before. Create the mask, take the gradient tool, take the filter, change the opacity. Now, merge all layers together by pressing Ctrl E. Then, take Filter, Render, Lighting Effects, and the default looks nice, so I'm just going to keep it at that. Now you have more of a cinema look with the light on. 